Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Princess Posey, aka the Gluten Free Maven. I'm Posey, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make slime. So, the first thing you do is pour in the glue, and I'm using their school glue. And also, you, you could you have to try to use a fork because it's better and it gets if you use a spoon the spoon can scoop it up so I'm not going to be adding any color but I am adding these beads and so let's add them in I'm just using that amount and once I activate it it could be ready um, I'll see if I want more. And today we're making clear and white glue slime. What are you adding, Posy? And so I'm adding Tide. You can use borax, but add water to the borax powder. And if you want, you can use contact lens solution. And it has to have a certain thing in it. I don't know what it is, I forgot, but I usually don't use contact lens solution. And if you're using contact lens solution, also use baking soda. Now, somebody said that if you add too much tide, it can get sticky, but I feel like it doesn't. So. What's the difference between using borax and tide besides the price? Tide is much more expensive. Well, um... I always make bad black activator with the black for the slime, so I just use Tide. And how long does it take to turn into slime? Um, um, it depends. But I'm just going to add activator until it looks like a good consistency. And by activator you mean Tide? Yeah, Tide. I say activator because it's you know and you should always ask your parents permission before you take something like tide and you should never ever let very young children work on it alone because you have to make sure they wash their hands and don't put them in their mouth after yeah, touching the slime because tide has a teeny tiny bit of black so every time after slime you really need to wash your hands So, good. Does it change consistency or like however it is now, that's how it's going to be? Well, it depends if you start fixing it. So it's still a little bit sticky. So I'm going to add some more. And when it's like kind of like slime but sticky, I just start kneading. Turning into slime. Posey, why don't you talk about some of the other things you can add into slime? So, if you want, you can add color or like, yeah. So, I'm going to make be making a white slime with um, the seashells. And you can add color, but I like my clear slime without color. And I think I'm going to add more beads since it's really will be really cool stuff. So, um, these beads, um, they're not really like, they're like kind of like gems. They don't have like, you can't put them on a necklace. But they call them, and though we call this fishball slime, or some people call it popping slime. So I'm going to add a little bit more beads. Okay, so I think it's a good consistency now. So we're just going to get this. And so now we are going to work on our white glue slime. 
the cake. Is that a special type of glue? It's glue wall, so it's like a bit stronger. So if you use glue glue, it will be not that strong. Maybe we can do the white one another time. Fine. Okay, so why don't you show the finished product, Posey? So here's the finished product of the clear slime. And you can, like, take it out of the bowl. And you just want to make sure it's, like, kneaded and stuff. I'm just going to knead it because it's just going to be so it's not as sticky. I just think if you have warm hands, which mine are usually warm, it might be a little bit more sticky. So just say. So I'm going to try to make a bubble. Okay. So we're going to say bye. But before we say bye, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and turn on your bell so you know when we post awesome new videos. Bye!